Hello guys and welcome back again in another requested video here. We are making the Ford, uh, Ford Formula 1600 engine which is a legendary engine for a lightweight formula cars of in, the, in the past of course. These are classic Formula 1, uh, not Formula 1, I, I don't know exactly if they are Formula 1 or Formula 3 or Formula 2 but you know they are really cool cars and the engine is really good. Let's start with the uh, with the specs. Uh, now, for, for a start, I already know the board and stroke, and I contacted a cool fan in the comment section, and he told me about all the specs that I need to do, to do here, so I can make this engine close to the real deal. Let's start with the material. It has a cast iron block. The bore is 81, and the stroke is 77.6. 77.6. Point six, which is correct. It has an overhead valve, two valves per cylinder, cast iron head. Let's see, we have. Uh, uh, no, it has a forged steel, I beam steel, lightweight forged. Let's see here, um, it has 9.5 to one compression ratio. I'm gonna assume it has a racing racing camshaft. Um, let's see. Actually, no, if I want to make this engine close to the real deal, I have to go back to the, to the past. Let's say 1960, 1965, 1970. Damn it, I don't know the real exact time. So I'm gonna make it in 1970 because this is a replica, but this is a, this is a close. This is a close replica, it's not the real replica. Let's see, we are now in the 1970s. Right, 1970. Alright, so we have push rod, two valves per cylinder, and the cast iron. We have forged I beam, forged again. Let's see, what else should we make? Right, this engine has to have that one, like five plus five again, naturally aspirated. Let's see for the carburetor with a performance intake manifold. I'm gonna assume 98, 14.6, and the ignition time. We have to drop it a little bit. Let's see how much I can push this little puppy. I'm gonna go with long. This engine is low on this engine. This engine is low on horsepower, so we don't we don't have to we, uh, see, we don't have to wait and see if this engine will make ton of horsepower because no, this engine maybe it's around it's around 114 horsepower originally. So let's see what. What can we do about it? Valve float? Oh my god, the valve float. It's so crappy. Right, now the valves are awesome. And the, let's see here. Alright, the boost internals are awesome. Not really push. The RPM more because 114 only. Because I want to make the torque. Mm. These engines are impossible to make. Alright, 114 horsepower and 102 pound feet of torque. Damn it, I don't want to make it in 1970. Let's go back to 2017 again. Don't give a crap about 1970s. I want to make this engine really close to the real deal. Right, let's go back to lightweight forged again. Let's switch to a modern overhead valve. 
let's go down with the with the quality not for high quality components. Eight nine eight super. Awesome. Let's see. We need one hundred and fourteen. One hundred and fourteen horsepower with what? With one hundred and five pound feet. 114 horsepower is needed, right, 114 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque. Now that's perfect. But the exhaust quality, I don't want to make this engine really needs that much quality. Weird engine. Come on. Right. Alright, now we have 114 horsepower and 106 pound feet of torque, which is perfect. Now let's see. Mm -hmm. This engine doesn't have a catalytic converter, so. Right, now it's perfect. 114 with 105. Now the engine is perfect. Now let's hear it. Let's see how... How much I can push the RPM. I mean, I can push it to 8900, but as you can see, if I push it harder, look at the power, it will just drop. So I'm gonna push it up to 7500, which is perfect. As you can see here, the production unit value is good, the engineering time is awesome, and the material cost is cheap. If you will ask me in the comment section why did I make this engine in 2017, I will answer you with this because this is a replica, it's not the real engine because making the real engine is not really my thing in this channel. I only make replicas. I take the same specs, the same factory specs, and I make them in 2017, 2017. All right. So the engine is basically is finished, we have the same horsepower and the same torque. I don't know exactly uh, how much this engine will rev in real life or what's the max RPM in real life, but I'm gonna guess, uh, because this is a classic engine, it will not rev really that much high, so I'm gonna guess uh, 7500, maybe close to 8000 RPM, but as you saw here the power will just drop down, so I'm gonna stick it only to 7500. 
Mm, and that's it guys, this is the Ford Formula 1600 engine replica. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna rename it here and say, then listen to it again with some, with some uh, shifting sound and everything. Ford Formula 1600 replica. Right. Factory specs. All right, let's hear it again. Right, all right, guys. The engine is looking really awesome. The compression ratio is correct. The materials are correct. Everything so far is correct for a closed replica. So that's it, guys. That's the 1600 Ford Formula engine. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you really enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to enjoy all exclusive videos of automation replicas. And remember, if you have a request for an engine uh, and automation can support it, please feel free and write it in the comment section and I will make it as soon as I can. Uh, forgive me guys, sometimes I'm busy so I, I cannot make the engine right away, but I'm going to try to make it as fast as fast as I can. And remember guys, if uh, your, your request took takes so long to make or I didn't make your, any your request, please remind me and I will, I will make it because sometimes the requests are too much, requests are too much and I can maybe forget some, I, I can maybe forget them or, or just, uh, I don't know, sometimes I forget them. So please remind me with your request if I can make it. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye bye.